He's in front of the van with your jammers. So I've just been to empty the uh, wee wee bottle, the wee wee receptacle, in the toilet. And it's not too bad this morning. So we're in Ludlow. We had an absolutely brilliant day in Ludlow. Really, really like it. One of his favourite places. And now, next stop, Oswald. Yeah, but we have to get. I'll have to get. We've dressed. got to do a Tesco. You need to do a Tesco. Do we? We don't, we've been to the toilet. Now. Been to the toilet. Alright, well, we'll just find somewhere. We can just get dressed when we get there in car park, can't we? Right, happy days. See you in a bit. You're looking very beautiful again this morning. Oh, thank you, darling. Hey. You're looking very handsome. Yourself. Thank you, gorgeous. We've arrived at Oswestry and we don't even know what it's like because we're heading back up north today, unfortunately. And I just said, Let's go and have a look at Oswestry. So, yes, let's see what's in Oswestry. The last it day of our travels. Yeah, we're going back uh, sort of early evening because I'm in Bridlington this weekend with my little girl. I'm looking forward to that. There's Oswestry tourist information here. So we could just go in and ask. Well, it's a lovely day. Let's go and see. We've been given guides and maps. And we've asked for a little bit of information. So we will be able to uh, give you some of that information back, hopefully. But we'll have forgot it in 10 minutes. <laughs> so, Oswestry is famous because King Oswald died here, didn't he, in battle, and they hung him from a tree. Mm -hmm. And people used to come and look at like his dismem like his rotting body. And what happened is, uh, th the legend is that a raven took his rotting arm and dropped it nearby, and up popped that well. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. She told me uh, there was a well. And there was loads of miracles that happened there. So then it was canonised, St Oswald. But the name Oswald, what's it called? Oswestry. 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 I'm Oswald's struggling with tree. it. It was Oswald's tree. And it just, over the years, became Oswestry. I think this is all that's left. <laughs> Not much. Yeah, because the, the locals over the many centuries have just taken the stone to build houses and garden walls and all sorts, haven't they? Yeah, because they're lost in the Civil War, so it was just ransacked. So apparently that was a tower. Yeah. Where's the fort? There's the, the old Oswald Street, isn't there? You mean the Iron Age fort? Is that it up there, do you think? I wonder if that's it up there. It's a decent view. Nice sort of stately home over that way. Top of the church. The lady in the tourist information said that there's actually an award winning pub and that was like music to my ears. And they've just served their 3000th brew. And it's won awards from camera. Can you remember the name of it? Yeah. What? Bailey Head. Something, Bailey in it, we'll find Bailey it. Bailey Head. I don't think it's a massive place. So, yeah, not much of the castle left. It's a shame, isn't it? You know, when they, in olden days, when they used to ransack places and that, they didn't think about the future. But they, they didn't think about us, they didn't care about tourists. But as recently as like 60s and 70s, they were knocking down beautiful old buildings, medieval buildings. Were they? So, yeah. There's a lot of stunning architecture that was demolished in that period to make way for crappy concrete monstrosities. eyesores, monstrosities, yes. 
That's a sign, isn't it, Helen? <laughs> yeah. The pub that the lady told us about, which is award-winning, is right there in front of us. Mm -hmm. The Bailey Head. Yeah. But it's multi-award-winning, so I think we will have a beer in there today at some point. But it's far too early for that. Oh, look, mark it. If we do have a coffee or something, I'd rather go to a small... Yeah, independent. Well, these are independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we could have a little... Do you remember half a pence? Oh, God, yeah. Used to be able to get a chew from the from the little shop What's around there? the corner from the corner shop for it half a pence. It's a little bit different to Shrewsbury Market, isn't it? Yeah. That's the third Turkish barbers on this street. Is it? Yeah. That's an old building up behind. So which one of those would you be reading? Jackie. Or if there was a Smash It's one, I'd be reading that. I remember looking. I suppose you like that one as well, don't you, Helen? I do, yeah. Oh, dear fool. Right, if my son, but he's old now, if he wanted his own. You would let your like son that. go to school like that? I would, I'd take him. Well, I think you're a bad parent. I'm a very good I parent. I would kick your me. son out and say, get a proper haircut. It's a bit bad, isn't it? People have been doing that. Helen spotted this lovely looking. Cafe. Do you want to go in there for a coffee? Yes, that would be nice. Are you going to do that thing? Well, not now you've said it. <laughs> I was saying I wasn't hungry, but then I've just seen that. It, oh, the croissants. Yeah, it's got to be a chocolate one. Oh, that one with blueberries on. What's that? Blueberry, Blueberry almond, almond cream. cream, cheese, croissants. Well, you order what you want. What have you ordered there, Helen? I've ordered a blueberry and cream cheese croissant. How very dare you. So what's inside, Helly Bobs? Oh, it's very sticky. Oh, gosh. Oh. That does look good, though, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Let Ooh, me try. very sticky. Yeah. I've just realised or just found out that Oswe Street is the birthplace of Wilfred Allen. And in my younger years, I really sort of got into poetry a bit. <laughs> I even used to write my own poems and I always remember a Wilfred Owen poem which was it's it's weird to say it's my favourite poem because it's a bit it's not nice. It's not a nice poem but it really a lot it's like art, ah, that's what it's there. It's there to sort of create emotions I think. And that poem Dul what is it, Dulce et Decorum Est is uh, is quite a sort of moving poem. So there's a statue just down this road and we're going to go and have a look at it and pay our respects to the hero who was Wilfred Owen. Oh, I like this one. Oh. You wanna go in? Yeah, come on. Can't walk in there. <laughs> They're not suitable for them. <laughs> yeah, suits you, sir. <laughs> well, when would you ever be doing that movement? Not like a chimp. <laughs> it's a shame, the nice. colour suits you. Yeah. That's like the worst market stall ever. So anyway, I didn't want to go in that charity shop. But guess who made a purchase? Yeah. Look at you. Cheap blazer. And I thought rather than 
They wanted a pound for a bag. I said, a pound for a bag? I'm wearing it. That has to be one of the worst looking weather spoons I've ever seen. Doesn't it look horrible, that? Huh? It is. Oh, it must be over there. It must be this way. Yeah, it is. I can see it from the trees. There's some statue over there. What do you think that is? She's a water nymph, isn't she? I don't think it's anybody in particular. Here he is, the lad, bless him. So, yeah, was well, it, it was 25, it was 25, and it was a sort of, I think he was quite high up in the military, and it was in the First World War, and he wrote famous poems, the best one being uh, Dulce et decorum est, and it really portrays the horrors of the, the First World War, and of yeah. course... That's a dickhead there ruining it for me. It's a, a long thing for me to pause for you, but if you look it up, what I'll do is I'll, I'll look up the famous poem. Uh, I'll try and read it you now, I think. Oh, I feel a bit of an idiot, but it's the least I could do, isn't it? What do you think? Should I read the poem? Yeah. There's a lot of people about So? Dulce et decorum est. Bent double like old beggars under sacks, knock kneed coughing like hags, we cursed through the sludge. Till on the haunting flares we turned our backs, and towards our distant rest became to trudge. Men marched asleep, many had lost their boots, but limped on, bloodshod, all went lame, all blind. Drunk with fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of gas shells dropping softly behind. Gas, gas, quick boys. An ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still was yelling out and stumbling, and floundering like a man in fire or lime. Dim through the misty panes and thick green light, as under a green sea I saw him drowning. In all my dreams before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams you too could pace, Behind the wagon that we flung him in And watch his eyes writhing in his face His hanging face like a devil sick of sin If you could hear at every jolt the blood Come gargling from the froth corrupted lungs Obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud Of vile, incurable sores on innocent tongues My friend, you would not tell with such high zest To children, ardent for some desperate glory The old lie Dulce et decorum est pro patria mori. There you go. I love that poem. It's very, it's very moving, isn't it? It is, and it's you could you can visualise. It must have been absolutely horrific. So as I was just talking, just off camera. Well, before I was filming a bit. And I had to stop because some kids come past screaming and shouting, thinking it was funny to interrupt me while I was trying to record a bit. And I don't know, probably about a similar age to what he was. I think he looked a bit older. Well, they did in those days, didn't they? Oh, you mean the kid that went past shouting Wilfred Owen? Yeah, as if, you know, you feel like... They did send boys to war. Yeah, you feel like telling him off, saying you, you don't even, I bet you don't even know the story, do you? And you're sort of here, you're you're able to be free today because of people like that. And you should mm. have a bit of respect, it's not a joke. Sorry, I get a bit carried away and I get, I get passionate about it. So, yeah, there you go, we've paid our respects to Wilfred Owen and uh, we shall go to the pub. Yes, I was just going to say that, let's go and have a pint. Because I feel good now, because I've got a blazer on. I feel like I can read poems. When I've got my glasses and blazer on, I feel like I can read poems. So, shall we do that, baby? You look the part. Thank you. So? We'll go to that pub. 
which is one the award-winning pub yeah yeah that weather spoons didn't look very awe inspiring did it no it didn't Chat there's talking to somebody on his phone. What on his on his iPad? Yeah. Yeah. Look, pub of the year. Camera good beer guy. Look, it's won all those. That's so nice. we're going to have a half. Or maybe even a pint. Well we? I can have a pint. Well you can, yeah. Yeah, look at the scene. Oh we can sit here in this corner. I'll pop my coat down here. So yeah, it was a good recommendation. The choice of beers that they've got in here is fantastic. Yes. So Helen's picked one which is super so strong. It's cold. <laughs> so I've only got a very small one. You've got one. a third, haven't you? Because a third of a pint. And I've and just got a... The Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor, and I've just got a New England IPA. Cheers, darling. That is very floral. Yeah, isn't it? but it's sort of it's kind nice. of it's refreshing. Do you know this? This is like a drink that you'd like to drink. Do you know on a really hot summer's day? Yes, it is. In a beer garden, under a tree, well, the wind is. Do you know, like the breeze is all blowing. You're, you're describing it wonderfully. There's kids running around, ruining yeah. it. <laughs> I was thinking that there were dogs running around. Yeah, trying to hurt your leg. And then a load of motorbikes go past with their engines far too loud. <laughs> yeah. You better watch Rossi. I better watch Rossi. <laughs> uh, that that was a really, really flying visit of Oswald Street, and I know people say you could have gone here, you could have gone there. Yeah, you should have gone but, there. You should yeah, have but we. Sorry, we were time limited. Sorry, not sorry. We're very time limited, <laughs> but we're going to. Because it's a couple of hour drive, I think, back home. Yeah. So we're going to set off. We'll have a sing song in van. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And we'll stop somewhere for dinner. And I said we'll call for dinner on the way home. And. Helen suggested our favourite restaurant in Chester, didn't you? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> you going into this? I would have to edit it right now. You know it's true. One thing is one thing that's been best. Grace had to blue. Came in from the There's a daughter very well I learned to survive It is too late to have a day I keep on living like this Oh no! Go! Go! Always believe in your soul I used to play that instrument in school choir. It's school, school choir, you're not school band. It was like a whole load of fish. No, it, it was just like a thing, you had a stick and you had... It was a fish. I used to play uh, triangle in a reggae band. I used to just stand at back and ting. <laughs> hey, bada boo. Oh God, bada the old boo. ones are the best ones. Huh? <laughs> you manage. Well, we're back. Oh, really? where just under a week ago we started this road trip in this car park in Chester one of our favourite stops <laughs> it's an overnight stop and it's in the centre of Chester I can't remember what it's called can you remember what it's called? but you'll find it it's a brilliant park up it's next to some kind of castle or something yeah and, and we're going to a great restaurant just around the corner Artisan Artisan which we came just before Christmas. Yeah, we assume that we'll get in. I can't imagine it being busy at this time. 
But you never know. What day are we on? It's Friday. Oh. Could be busy. It could be. It could be all the people that have finished work early. So it's been a fun day, Ludlow this morning, Oswestry this afternoon, Chester this evening. Well, it's not evening, Ludlow. but we were in Ludlow, we woke up in Ludlow this morning. I'm just losing track of Yeah, we've been everywhere. Yeah, we've been to see my brother in Hereford. We didn't film that part. We didn't film it. But you'll have met Scott on one of our other yeah. videos when we went to Conway. Yeah. We need to come and do another video here, don't we, really? Yeah, we love it. Oh, look. It's, it's a, a nice place. Ah, oh, you see. Building appetite, apparently. Yeah. Which has got amazing reviews. Yeah, that's what we wanted we to go originally. We don't want to do an all-you-can-eat meat fest today. It is just around yeah, here. Can, can you see it? Yes. Is that... We'll get in. Oh, we'll get in, punch your tables. So yeah, it's uh, very, it's rather busy. Yeah. Okay, we got, we're choosing this lunch menu because it's still on and it's only £19.50. You get to choose two pinchos and then you choose a main. I think it's great value. So we're going to mix and match, aren't we? We always share each other's stuff anyway. Yeah, is the, is the lens, is it clean? Because it looks a bit hazy. Eyes. <laughs> I hope that lens is clean because I've not wiped it all after the So yeah, we're looking forward to this. It's been, we've had a wonderful week. Can I show them the restaurant? It's just such a lovely restaurant. We we happened upon this, didn't we, before Christmas? I was going to say, don't catch me drinking water. I know. <laughs> it's not always alcohol. <laughs> Cheers. All oh, right. There's a wine as well. Cheers. Cook for me. You're looking very beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're looking very handsome. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do you like my new jumper? I do, I do. It says bonjour. Why are you doing uh, that voice? Because I have to, it's French. <laughs> Is that where you got it from? No, I got it from the Fazda. The Fazda. <laughs> from... It's a little boutique. You got it from, from the Asda. <laughs> from... George at Asda. Ooh la la. I got it from George mm -hmm. in this little boutique uh, in, uh, in Fazda. <laughs> so here's the starters. They're what you chose, aren't they? There's the chicken wings, the meatballs. This is cauliflower, like battered cauliflower, and that's halloumi. Does look good, doesn't it? That we're going to tuck in, but we're going to share. So, sort of like, there's one of each, each, isn't there? Happy days. It's like a, another little uh, tapas. That was delicious for a starter, wasn't it? Absolutely. That's what I remember about this place, is yeah. the mix of flavours that they do is yeah, really it's wonderful. It's a taste sensation. It's a taste And we are not sponsored, by the way. No, no, we are paying for this meal. I wish we were sponsored. <laughs> yes. Look at that. So that's mine. Yours looks so much better. What, it what is supposed to be there? I don't know. There There's be... something missing. No, there ain't. That's yours. We could have half of mine anyway. Well, but anyway, we're having one. It does look good. So you got mint and pomegranate. I'm pinching one of your chips. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm dipping in your yogurt thing. Cheap as odd. Yeah, I'll cut it in half. You can have a flatbread out of the salad. All right. And then we'll judge them. 
can I ask you for your final verdict? Amazing. That was good. Look at my plate. Look at her plate. She's actually licked the plate. You can no, see. No, I haven't. I have bread. She's I like swiping bread around. Like if the if everyone wasn't here, I wouldn't. I'm be not a philistine. Well, that was a, a lovely. Oh my goodness. That lovely was just way. A, a taste sensation. It was. It was a lovely way to end a wonderful week. It was. Yeah. We've yeah. Had a great I love time. that restaurant. It's one of my favourite restaurants. Yeah. It's been a great week, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. And you've been so lovely. And you looked after me. I always look after you. And I've got to go back to work next week. Uh, and I'm just to the slog in the ground. And and I, I'm going to be on my own then for the next <laughs> few videos or next couple of videos. But we've got some other weekend stuff coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, which we're looking forward to. Some good stuff coming up. So yes, I think we're this way, darling. Yeah, if you remember, we were down. Oh, I think so. We were down this way. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll we see. have. We've had a very good time. Yeah, we've had a right good time. So preferably you've enjoyed it, but if not, <laughs> don't matter. It doesn't matter because we've <laughs> had a great time. <laughs> it does. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Because it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> it don't cost out. <laughs> it right costs then. now. It costs now. <laughs> right then, I'll see you. See you there. <laughs> I'm not turning it off, you can keep waving. Yes, walking down the street looking like a complete fool. I don't care. That's the thing Smile about it. Smile and wave, boys. <laughs> Smile and wave. <laughs>